Hi, welcome back to the second part of my Hoya Serpent Seed Pod. Uh, it's been a week since I filmed the first segment and the pod has curled considerably and I'm starting to become afraid that it could rupture and shoot seeds all over and I would have a hard time to be able to collect those seeds. So I'm going to type, try to very gingerly put this aquarium filter bag over the seed pod and tie it up somehow so that if it does rupture the seeds will be kept within the uh, filter bag and I'll be able to harvest them. So here it goes. I think this might work pretty well. We'll just tie a little knot in here. Or actually, we may just tie it up to the pot itself. So that we don't put any undue stress on the pot. I'd hate for it to break off from the pedicle. This is a plant that has kept on giving and giving. It has developed a new set of buds, which I don't know if it'll make it to uh, maturity and actually flower, but I'm kind of amazed that it would flower. It's so hot right now. It's incredible. There. there, thank you for watching the second part of my Hoya Serpents with the seed pod. I'm hoping to be able to harvest these seeds in a few weeks and plant them and follow their progress. There's the plant with the filter bag. Looks a little odd, but I think it'll do the trick. Thanks for watching.